My name is Peter Brennan, and I'm a private eye. I came to the States at the age of 14. My name was Peter Brenner then, but I thought it was a good idea to cut off the old ties. I didn't lose my Austrian accent though. I got my citizenship pretty soon and enlisted after college for four years in the army. I thought it would be a good idea to give proof of my loyalty. However, 9-11 changed everything. After two years of duty in Iraq, I had enough and settled down in New Jersey. With my army record, I got myself a nice boring job with the New Jersey State Troopers. It was my first step to hell. I started to gamble. And with gambling, the drinking came. Only very few people are allowed to call me that. The name is Samantha Miller and I run the Fraud Investigation Department at WTY Insurances. You wouldn't believe how many people try to make some easy money on insurance fraud. People crash their own cars, burn their own houses, hell, some even cut off their own toes to cash on our back. If they try that, I always get them caught. But there are more difficult cases, and in some times I'm out of legal options to do my job. And this is where Pete jumps in. At first he was only another drunk loser who tried to pick me up in a bar. But when I realized how clever he could be, I offered him a job instead of getting him laid. And sometimes he's the key to my success, like in the case at hand. Dr. Andrew Edwards here died at the age of 85. Nothing unusual so far. Not even the 10 millions of dollars his life insurance has to pay. But the benefiters were shady, to say the least. Several associations targeting communist activities in America and the Center for Transhuman Progress. I ran a background check. And that was when it got really weird. There were no birth records, no insurance records, no driver's license. Basically nothing in the system dated before 1991. The insurance fees had been paid by a company in the Cayman Island. And the only official asset known is a hut in the woods of New England. To my surprise, I didn't get a search permit for the hut. Technically, my investigations ran into a dead end. At least the legal part. So I decided to take the high road, but I wouldn't drive it myself. I needed a scapegoat for the worst case scenario. And who would be better than... unnatural death. My company would refuse payment to the shady heirs. Pete would be rich and I would have a realistic chance of becoming the youngest member in the boards of directors. <laughs> 